And it's just, I don't know where you go from here. I, I suppose you, you make some moves. The name I hear more than Carlson right now or anyone else is Hoffman because we know goal scoring is at a premium now, sure. and everybody would like a, a natural shooter. Cody Cece's name out there? They're, they're looking at everybody. They are looking at everybody. But I, I would think that a guy like Hoffman would get traded much faster than, than most. Why not Carlson now? Here, the, the thinking is this. If you know that he's not coming back or you're not going to be, this is to your point about Eugene Melnick, Nick, you're not going to pay them what he's worth and what he's going to get somewhere else. Do you not extract more trading Eric Carlson now to a team that will have him for the balance of this regular season plus the playoffs and an entire season plus playoffs next year versus just one season in playoffs or a rental come next year at trade deadline? Well, I guess the, the, the question there would be easy to say you want to move them out, but can you get the pieces back in the middle of a season? Or is it a, a deal of that magnitude is an off-season trade to get the quality back that you require? Because if you go by the adage, the team that gets the best player, you're not going to get the best player in the trade necessarily. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're but you requiring get more, but you several get, pieces back, you, you, might, not, you it, might not be able to get them during the middle of a season. But you're getting more if you're handing them to a team that gets them for two playoffs. Is, is my only point through all of this. Like, at, at a certain point, like, I, I don't believe that the Ottawa Senators just sort of stumbled on this issue. Like, they've probably had this in the back of their head. Nick, you pointed out since him and Drew Doughty were talking about we're getting, we're getting paid and we're getting market yeah. value. And that in itself uh, was it, is got everybody was ma issue? mad at each other. Right. Right. Because that's not music to Eugene Melnick's ears when you hear that uh, uh, no hometown discount. Yeah. So if you're Pierre Dorian, you have to be thinking in the back of your mind, well, when, when's the right time to make, to make a move here? Saturday night on Hockey Night in Canada, Ron McLean, I said absolutely, and yeah. he was very surprised. And um, it makes no sense to have a team at the bottom of the league and then sign a soon-to-be 30-year-old to an eight-year maybe $90 million contract. Like, that makes no sense. 